Hey everybody, Chris with Hope North Air Gunner. I've got the camo on, you know what that means. We are almost ready for deer season up here in Michigan. Opening morning for antlerless deer season is September 22nd. It's only a two day hunt here in Michigan. Uh, last year I got two doe during that opening uh, day. Our regular firearm season where you can hunt with air guns, uh, that actually is an opener of November 15th. Getting super excited about that. My trail cam is picking up a ton of deer. So I'm out here today, uh, all camoed out. One, just getting my gear ready, um, airing out the camo. And one of the things that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a slug selection combined with this new African Air Ordnance Super Valve that's gonna give me the flattest trajectory and the most foot pounds of energy. Now, my goal in this isn't to grab a 450 or 500 grain slug and basically shove as much energy behind this thing to get, you know, 700, 800 foot pounds of energy. That isn't my goal. My goal is to flatten out the shot trajectory as much as possible to take as much guesswork as I can out of my shot 100 yards and in. And you guys have heard me say this a lot. For me, air gunning, 100 yards and in. I know, you know, don't get me wrong, I love the long ranger competition and it is great practice to grab those uh, white golf balls from Air Gun Depot and putting them out there at 150, 200, 250 and 600 yards, that is a blast, it's a great practice. But for hunting, I keep it 100 yards and in and a lot of the hunters that I talk to really feel like that's a comfort zone that we should be staying in. Don't get me wrong, there's guys out there that have taken 120 yard shots. I've even seen a 198 yard shot. I'd say, but here in Michigan, most of the hunting that I do is in a deep, thick woods where most of my shots are probably gonna be around 50 yards and in even. So, but if that deer pops his head out at, you know, between 90 to 100 yards, I wanna take as much of the guesswork I can out of my shot. So shooting a flatter trajectory projectile is gonna mean that I don't have to hold over as much at those longer range shots. So today I'm gonna to be doing a test with two slugs. Um, the uh, 356 grain slug you saw me testing with last time. And then also I've got a new 400 grain slug. So just to see what it's gonna do with this heavier weight ammo. Um, the other thing I noticed is that my uh, chronograph was way too close to my muzzle last time. But when you're up close shooting like this, you're gonna get a secondary report on the uh, chronograph from the air coming out of the uh, big bore air gun. So the other tweak that I made to my setup today as compared to my last video is I increased the hammer tension on the Air Force Texan 45. Before you saw I was getting three shots at 900 feet per second. So for this test, I'm gonna increase that hammer strike to see what's the maximum velocity I can get on that first shot and it'll probably drop off from there. So it's gonna be a choice if you're hunting, do you want that first shot to be as, as powerful as possible? Do you want more consistency across the uh, first three shots? That's totally up to you. But uh, for the sake of testing today, I just wanna see um, what this valve is capable of. Furthermore, um, I've been working with Jeremy at African Air Ordnance and the guys over at Lethal Air. So actually Jeremy's coming out with a higher flow top hat that has some um, additional work done to the bore of the valve that is gonna make this even more efficient and faster uh, velocity. So if right now this is just baseline testing to see where we're at. And I'll tell you what, even if it didn't get any better than where I'm at now as a hunter, I'm totally happy with this. I'm extremely pleased. It is, it's a complete game changer for me. So uh, yeah, so first up, um, some other changes that I've done today with my setup. I'm gonna be hunting this year with the Donnie FL Emperor and this is what it looks like in its mummified form <laughs> with the uh, camo tape. And I'm still in the process of doing the full camo work on the gun, but this stuff is great. If you go out and get this, this is just gauze-like tape that you can wrap around. Temporary, but very durable, very weather resistant. I love this stuff. So yeah, I haven't finished the camo work on it, but it's uh, coming along. The reason why I left the tape off for, for this uh, shot is I wanted to show you that um, basically what I did is I moved the hammer spring tension to, I think that's like on the second to, there you go, to the, um, what would you call that? That would be the second line from the strongest setting. And before I was in the second line from the weakest setting. So I've cranked it up basically two more notches from where it was before. So yep, on that second line before uh, with a 350 grain slug, I was getting three shots at 900 feet per second. But then also there could have been some error because of how close I was with the uh, chronograph. So another thing I want to um, point out too is before, technically this is a 300 bar bottle that I got online. It is technically not a 4,500 PSI bottle. So I've backed it down to 4,350. So I'm not, I'm shy of 4,500 here on the uh, the pressure gauge. So definitely within the specs of um, the testing specs of this bottle. So this bottle is actually tested up to 500 bar, which is 7,000 PSI. And I was at 4,500 PSI the last time I was, I was testing this, but um, 
for the sake of safety and trying to do everything within the uh, actual specs of equipment. So I don't want to give any false readings or you know try to demonstrate anything that might be unsafe for anybody. With your stock Air Force equipment, seriously, pay attention to what Air Force says. So please, if you're shooting a stock Air Force Texan or really any Air Force air gun, for the sake of safety and your warranty, do not overcharge these bottles. I had somebody tell me that they actually were shooting their stock bottle off of 4,500 PSI. Please don't do that. Air Force makes a fantastic product. They have a lifetime guarantee. I'm just doing this for the sake of air gun R&D, research and development, just to see what is capable. But always stay within the safety specs of your uh, air gun and your equipment. So that's why today I'm gonna be shooting off of 4,350 PSI instead of 4,500 like I was before. And uh, let's see what it'll do. Um, first up, we're gonna be shooting a 350 grain slug. And after that, we'll be shooting the 400 grain slug. Let's see what it'll do. Here we go. Okay, so there you have it. Over 880 feet per second with that 400 grain slug. That is just absolutely massive. So the 350 grain slug, so which is probably what I'm gonna end up hunting with this year, 950 plus feet per second. That is monstrous. That is amazing amount of power. That is an extremely flat trajectory. I'm super happy with this. So since my last video, Lethal Air has gotten these in stock. If you are a deer hunter, go out and get one of these. This is a game changer for deer hunting for you. I'm super happy with mine. Definitely need to get yours. Thanks again. This is Chris with Up North Air Gunner.